What's up, everybody? This is your stream, Mr. Steven, and welcome to another edition of the Steven Factor. Tonight, I'm getting ready for my 16th story time that I like to call the Conversation Score. Now, this is a true story that i never been done this before in my life, that I'm a guy who always loves to talk, socialize, and everything. But for the first time ever, I see these two beautiful ladies in front of my building. One is white and one is Asian. So, um, let me tell you what happened. It was all started on one month ago, one week before Thanksgiving. And my, it was on Saturday afternoon. And my aunt wants me to go downstairs to get some more bread down by the supermarket. Meanwhile, this young, these two beautiful ladies saw men wearing shorts. Now, I just want to let you know that as men... We always wear something inappropriately during the middle of the cold weather, like wearing shorts, wearing tank tops and everything. But during at the same time, it was so disgusting and that makes women feeling uncomfortable with. I mean, like, I mean, seriously, we are pigs in this world. And men are supposed to wear dress very inappropriately. I mean, you're wearing shorts. I mean, for what? You guys playing tennis, volleyball during the cold weather? That's it. So she used her phone to try to record it, um, want to pull her block, and, and she will definitely make a statement. And to be honest with you, it would be a good idea to express themselves, you know, um, that women talk, tell men need to wear dressing appropriately because it will definitely make uncomfortable, to be honest with you. So, um, we having a two com um, we have a outstanding conversation here. And, um, and for the first time ever, um, we've been talking about men very dressing very inappropriately. And also this Asian lady also said, like, when she saw, meanwhile, um, she saw this guy wearing a tank top and shorts while jogging. And she said, that was gross. And you know what? It, it, it was very gross to be honest with you. So we have a little bit of conversation all the time. And for the first time, this first lady said to me, like, look at you. You dress very, you dress appropriately. And yes, I've been dressed appropriately all the time. So, because it's cold weather, so I pour on the cold, the jeans and my shoes, trying to keep me warm. And for the first time ever, um, I made the outstanding joke, including the advice as well, too. So, this is a, um, very interested, um, that I decided I'd like to share, to share all these ladies. So, um, so I talked to them, a wonderful advice, and I said to them, and I quote, Look, if you look for a woman and dress very inappropriately, here's my advice. Get a haircut. And the Asian girl said to me, like, ooh, tease. In other words, ooh, you're such a tease. So, it's the same thing, but she make a short um, phrase about that. So, what I did is I took on my hat, and here's my advice, get a haircut. So, you could use my haircut. So, I, all you gotta do, you have to go in a haircut every once a month to shave your whole face and you become as young man, as cute as ever. So, um, it, it, it was a wonderful conversation. And, um, and now I try to say goodbye to these beautiful ladies and, and ask you really know about this. I'm so nervous. I didn't get their numbers or even I showed in the picture what I really look like when my hair grew and when I took a haircut after after and it was um completely great and a wonderful experience as well too. So um the conversation is success. I it went like it went like almost like three and a half minutes. And you know, they have to go somewhere and try to hang out and maybe someday I will bump it into them again and um this is very amazing. But, but like I said, I'm the luckiest person in Crown Heights. 
and also uh, a wonderful story that I like to share with you in the world. But like I said, I post this on Twitter. Um, this is a. Um, it was took place on November twenty third, and um, and to be honest with you, it was a amazing thing. It's going to happen. So um, I made the three steps that I want to tell all the men. To how to how do you so how do you impress women? So uh, here it is. I create a um, outstanding steps that I like to call "I want to impress women" or "how to uh, how to impress women." It's the same thing. And number one. All you gotta do, and the number one is get a haircut every once a month. And you know, when you go in a bar shop, you need a haircut as well. Um, number two, always dress casual in the middle of the fall. No shorts, no tank tops, tank tops whatsoever. Just wear every casual and look very presentable as well too. So you know, so you're definitely gonna need it. And number three, always talk with women with honest. And respect and yeah that's it and then my friend is called the conversation score so this is a uh, once in a lifetime opportunity that you need to talk to so many women from Crown Heights to uh, to uh, from Crown Heights to uh, Park Slope or Prospect Park you are definitely going to find women somewhere and you found them and you got them and that's the story time um, from me to you and especially for men out there you need to dress inappropriately I mean seriously you need to dress appropriately man if you dress very inappropriately the man those women really don't want you whatsoever and that's and that's the true thing man I mean how the hell you're wearing shorts during the cold weather like this, and, and and some women thinks that you're very uncomfortable. I mean, sure, your short, um, your hairy legs or something like that. That's no excuse, in because women really don't want you whatsoever. If you want to dress very appropriately, they will they will love you. And you can find so many girls out there, some cute girls somewhere. Like I said, in Crown Heights, Park Slope, or even at church. But to be honest with you, I suggest that you should go to Park Slope. I mean, there's young people there. They're very interested in you and everything. And maybe someday, um, they will gonna ask you, what's your name? Um, tell me about yourself and everything. I mean, what do you do for a living? And and she will definitely gonna date you. That's the most important thing. And, and I love this story time because um, I want to tell all the stories about during the past and especially in the present. So this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. All right, folks, gotta go. Adios. Todo para la familia.